expected it was like all right here all around the base of the cuticle yeah I have yeah so this when it was so swollen yeah it, that's probably what split the nail way down in there yeah I just I'm not sure how it even happened I was just like like as soon as I got done it was yeah, but that really dark yellow color, you can tell that that is um, impacted material way down underneath there. Maybe like three or four times a year, if that. I never really. Really? Yeah, because I never had a problem, so. Right. File and paint, once it starts chipping off. Well, you might have worn a pair of shoes that were too tight or gotten something wedged down in there. Sometimes when people walk in sand, um, stuff can get lodged down into your sidewalls and that could have just aggravated the area but you've got pretty toenails Thanks. are they supposed to be curved like that <laughs> well i mean some people the predisposed things to ingrown toenails it's a super deep sidewall like you've got a pretty deep sidewall yeah. So that makes the curve more exaggerated. Yeah, my mom, she's got feet like mine. I, I've had a lot of clients who have used it before. Um, I just, the whole premise of it, unless it's penetrating into the nail, anything that's drying on the surface of the nail, it's completely inactive after it hardens. So the, there's nothing that can soak into the nail after that. So if they're trying to use it as a barrier so nothing can penetrate into the nail, it's, I don't know, it doesn't work. Yeah, your toes are clean. Oh, good. Very clean. Get that towel technique. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have ingrown toes or like impacted. Yeah, I would say impacted, but if impacted too long, it makes them ingrown. Stuff like cracked in there. Oh yeah, like you're gonna be surprised at how big of a thing comes out of here. Okay. <laughs> like that was. Oh, there's some fuzz. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty See this orange stuff? The color changed because it the cuticle remover made it soggy. Yeah. But this is the stuff that gets super hard. Okay. And that's like like perspiration. It soaks into the bubbles and causes it's like tightness, you know? Yeah. It decreases the amount of space you have between your nail and the skin because it gets filled up. And if you can't reach an area to file it, if it's rough, that's what this is for. Yeah. See, I have something like that, but it's like thicker a little bit. And then it's got this hook on the opposite end mm -hmm. that's like thin. And I guess it's sharp enough because I did soak my feet. And then I must have, when I was trying out. to clean in between there, I must have cracked my nail. And that's what caused it. So maybe I thought I'd cut it. I don't know. They didn't really tell me anything. I just went to the doctor. He's like, take this. And then I went to the... And I can't believe he wanted to take your toenail off. Yeah, he's like, oh, if it was just me, I would have just cut the side of your nail off, or I would just cut your nail off. And I was like, what? Yeah, there's no, 
no need. I mean, conservative methods are so much better. You wouldn't want to have to heal all of that time from Mm -mm. Oh, thank you. But thanks for the offer. Right. All right, I think I got it all. You are real gentle. At first, I was like, man, what looks kind of like a hurt? <laughs> no. Yeah, you have to pay attention. I have a module called Tools, Techniques, Timing, and Pricing, yeah. where I talk all about the physics and the insertion points and the angles and how to, you know, turn the tools underneath certain areas so you aren't prying and lifting and peeling and pushing and hurting somebody. So what part of Texas? Fort Worth. Fort Worth? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Texas. <laughs> it gets really hot, but I love it too. Yeah, I like hot. I think it was like 106 when we left. And like the grass is like, hey, it's all good grass. It's all good.